Hi guys, so today we're just going to be doing an unboxing, so let's get into it. Right, it's a bit dull, it's getting quite late in the evening, but I want to do it because I want to use it. Um, It's my new laptop, guys. I wasn't actually crazy about getting it. Like, I know I needed one because the job centre sent me on courses, like to do at home, so I know I needed one for that. But I've not had a laptop, I've not used a laptop now for two or three weeks. I've just been using my phone to edit. So I felt like I didn't really need one. Um, but I spoke to the job centre and they said that they could provide me with one. I certainly wasn't going to go out there and get one. Um, let me show you what it looks like, the other side. So, it's come from Argos. Um, and... It's actually a really, really good one, guys. I knew it was going to be a Chromebook because I looked on the Argos website. So I looked on the Argos website at what the cheapest ones were. That's not the right way around. And I knew the Chromebooks were the cheapest. I feel like I need to put the light on. At least a little bit of light. So it's an Acer one. Um, it opens this way so we're, we're gonna unbox it together like i said it is a bit dark i can only apologize about that don't want to really wait another day to unbox it we'll just we'll just get into it guys i have actually had a sneak peek at my mum's we had a sneak peek together right so the manuals are on top because I just wanted to have a look at them. So we've got the Acer Chromebook 311 and it says CB311 there. That's that's the model number of it. So basically all the manuals, which we don't really need to go through. And then we've got this one. What's this? What's inside? Probably more manuals, but let's have a look together. Seems to be like a, a barcode on that. Right, so in, in that one we've got this. International Travellers Warranty Passport. So we need to keep hold of all this information and put it somewhere safe. I'm super stoked to have it. And it is so cute. Just wait until you see it. Right, and then... Let's just get the laptop part out first. And the plug's in the box, so let me put the box down. This is what the laptop part comes like. So obviously you've got your cardboard here, which is not needed. I've had a Chromebook before. This is obviously a Chromebook. I got a mint green one years and years ago. Probably talking about 14, maybe even 15 years ago. This is so much smaller. And then it comes in this white cloth. And this is what it looks like. So it opens this side. So the Acer part is kind of upside down and then the Chromebook. Obviously when you open it up, it won't be upside down. That's what it looks like. Really, really nice. Really slim, really aesthetic. I thought I'd be getting the black one because obviously I got it through the job centre. They don't really give out feminine looking at laptops but this one is so sleek i mean there's not a lot of memory on it i think about four gig um, but that's absolutely fine i'm only going to be using it for certain things anyway and then here is it tells you all about it so it says the acer chromebook 311 it's lightweight one kilogram it's thin it's got a thin design it's ultra fast wireless speed it's got up to 15 hours battery life and it's got a greater keyboard travel distance. It says battery life may vary upon usage and other conditions. Shall we try and switch it on? Yeah, maybe it needs charging up. Some of these Chromebooks come already charged. So let me get the charger out. I hope this doesn't let me down and it does actually charge up like it's supposed to. Right, so these are the chargers. Let me get this out. Yeah, it's the same as my other charger for my Chromebook. I don't know if it's the exact same, but it looks it looks it. 
I'm okay like when it comes to tech, but I wouldn't say I'm the most tech savvy person. Let me see where that is meant to go. Oh yeah, here. I don't know if you can see it. It's got, it's got a USB port there and I presume that's where it's meant to go. I've not read any instructions guys, so kind of going in blind here. I don't know if it does go there. Hang on. No. I think it's this one here. Yeah, that's it. Let me go plug it in. Oh, I saw something flash then. Hey, we have lift off. I thought it might already have some charge on it. Obviously, it doesn't. And it's probably just going to guide me to set it up. Yeah, welcome to your Chromebook. Fast, secure, effortless. Get started. Let's go in there. Right, so I'm going to set it up and then I'm going to come back because it's going to ask me to put personal data in, isn't it? I'll let me go and do this. Right, so it might be too light. It might be too bright for, for you to see what I'm going to do next. But once you put your password in, it brings you here. Google Terms of Service. Basically, all it's saying is by using Chrome or Chrome OS, you agree to the Google Terms of Service located and then it tells you where to go. So you just accept and continue that and then it'll probably tell you to put your gmail in um because you need a gmail account don't you for google chrome so i'm going to show you absolutely everything i can until i get to the personal information obviously i'm not going to show you that so then it will say who's using this chromebook you or a child so if it's for you you can set it up for work or personal use i'll obviously be doing personal use so it says if it's for a child, you can set digital ground rules to help children play, explore and do school work at home. So mine's for myself. So let's just click on that. This is where I need to disconnect because I need to put my email in. So hang on a second. Once you've either put your Gmail email address in or made a Gmail email address, you'll come to this page and it says sync your Chromebook. It just says your save preferences and activity will be ready on any Chrome OS device. When you sign in with your Google account, you can choose what to sync in settings. Um, sync your Chromebook apps, setting and more. Sync your Chrome browser, bookmarks, password, history and more. Google may use your history to personalise search and other Google services. So just you just accept and continue. And then you choose a pin. So let me just stop it here. Okay, so for extra security, they ask you for a pin. So I put a pin in and it says, well, you've got to do it twice. So then it says your pin has been added. And the, and the pin is six digits. So, And then it comes up with Google Play apps and services, Google Play terms of service. It goes online to tell you the introduction, but then you just click on more. And I guess you can... Go back and read this at your own convenience, really. So I'll just accept. Um, right, okay. So then it's saying select the most popular app. So Snapchat is definitely one I use. And I've had to take this off my phone, so I'll definitely put that on. WhatsApp I use a lot. Messenger I use a lot. Netflix I want on there eventually because I want to watch The Crown. Um, it's only more. So I'll install them. So the apps are downloading. And if you want different apps than that on, you can obviously go and put them on at your own convenience as well. So it says, we'll install those apps for you. You can find more apps for your Chromebook in the Play Store. Um, so next. And it says, Google Assistant works here too. Press search plus A. He's saying it looks like you've already set up Google Assistant on another device. Get even more out of your assistant by turning on screen contacts on this device. I'll just put I agree. I'm going to put no thanks. I can't be bothered. I don't know though. Because it goes off your voice and no one's going to have a voice like mine either. If you agree, Google Assistant will wait in standby mode to detect Hey Google and can recognise it is you speaking with voice match. 
Voice match allows your assistant to identify you and tell you. Apart from others, the assistant takes clips of your voice to form a unique voice model, which is only stored on your device. Your voice model may be sent temporarily to Google to better identify your voice. If you decide later that the voice match isn't for you, simply remove it in assistant settings to view or delete the audio clips you record during voice match setup. I don't know guys, is it worth it do you think? Let's type I agree. Voice match is ready, it looks like you wrote, looks like I've already done it. Maybe on my other um, Chromebook. Right, so which theme should I choose? I'm talking like you hear that and you can help me. So the light theme keeps things bright and airy. The dark theme helpful in low light and saves battery. The auto switch themes at sunrise and sunset. I think I'm going to go with auto. It's on auto anywhere. Then it says you are all set. Get started. Welcome to Smart Video for YouTube. Let's watch one of my videos, shall we? Now, if you're not into um, makeup videos, I apologise about that, but I want to see what the quality is. It going to be tinny because it's a cheaper laptop than what I'm used to. So, yeah, I want to see what it's going to be like. Right, so we're going to listen to me, because <laughs> it's all about me. All right, we'll allow the notifications. We'll go here, because that's my channel. That's not, no. Hang on a minute. You know, let's just watch a little bit of one of these other videos. Shall we just play some Christmas songs very, very briefly? I know I can't play. Is that the loudest it's going to go? Where's the volume? Can't you tell I don't know what I'm doing, guys? Well, at least the date's gone in automatically. It said September before. Right, this must be where, yeah, volume here. It was pretty much at full volume, wasn't it? Christmas. I think that's enough. I don't want to get demonetized. Um, it's pretty good. I'm just trying to figure out what else we can look at. Instagram's not on here yet. Otherwise, I would have shown you some of my Instagram posts. It's not on here yet. So maybe we can put it on. Instagram install so we just we just put in Instagram on now it's gonna take a while I'll just stop this a second right I've had to go in the wrong route because I can't remember my password because it's on my phone I just can't remember it I've got like three different Instagram account, so let's have a look. I mean, it doesn't look the best, like picture-wise, it doesn't look the best, in my opinion. All these like photographs that I'm showing you now, I added yesterday. Um, but it's a laptop, it works. I feel like... The real way to test it is probably to have a look at the camera, isn't it? Which camera? Let's take the glasses off. I do feel like that is pretty grainy. Let's take a photo. Right, and it's down here. Look how grainy that is, guys. So it's not got the best camera, so if you're wanting this, for a good camera, this isn't it. I need to figure out a way to delete that. Because the more stuff I've got on it, the more memory I'm going to lose. I mean, I've got my own HD camera anyway, so I can use that. But let's have a look at videos. 
Hey guys, how are you doing today? This is just a test video. Hey guys, how are you doing today? This is just a test video. Like, I couldn't use that camera in a live. But it's not, like, for me, for me personally, it's not for that. It's basically for me to job hunt, for me to do courses on. I mean, this camera here for teams is absolutely shocking. I'm glad I've got a HD camera that I can just put on top here. I can just slot it into the USB port there. And that's another thing. I think it's only got one USB port. Yeah, it does. So if you break that USB port, like I broke one on my other one. I had three on that though. You snookered, aren't you, really? That's just something that I wanted to let you know. I don't know how to delete these photos. But I'll figure it out and I'll do more of a review, more of an updated review in a month's time and let you know how I'm going with it. But other than that, other than the camera part of it, it's, to me, it's a good laptop. And it was completely free, you know, I didn't have to pay anything towards it. So that's really good, isn't it? So let me know if you've got this laptop or you've got a Chromebook, what your thoughts are on them. Please like and subscribe, it would mean an awful lot to me. Share and comment and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.